Okay. Well, we're doing something strange in the neighborhood. Nostalgia breathes a sigh of relief at the sight of I you. I don't think I'm going to surpass the level of MSQ to the point I have to do side shit, am I? I've been looking all over for you. Apologies no. to the lack of pleasantries, but there's precious little time to spare. Crash only has wormed its way into the living memory. Fear could pose a terrible threat if left alone. Please, you must help us. <clears throat> Won't happen with just one class speedrunning just the MSQ. You shouldn't. Wonderful. It's lucky to count you among its allies. Let's reconvene at the gate of memory. Oh, uh, you started at 91. I started at 90. Oh, but fair warning. You may not be able to recognize me at first glance. I'm already almost 94. Yeah, you're fine. You haven't even hit the 93 dungeon yet. Yeah. Actually, what level are the quests that I'm on? Aha, uh -huh, there you are. Hey, it's me, Nostalgia. Surprised? It's just a reverse of what uh, Kakaya was doing. With Zeralja gone, Oblivion's been allocating its resources to an investigation of living memory. Utilizing Kakaya's technology, we developed remote controlled sentries operable from the back room, so our surveys are both safe and efficient. I think that all this once lay at Everkeep's summit. Yeah, but wonder if a shade of my father ever resided in the grand city of the Endless. Ah, forgive me. I did say I'd explain the circumstances behind all this. During an earlier survey of the area, I encountered one of the Endless. Maybe one of the city's caretakers no, offered me like this and offered me a I guided tour. I accepted thinking I could conduct my observations at the same time. Him doing side story. But that's when we discovered the anomaly, a rift in the very fabric of living memory. Do. Yes, I like to actually read the text, so. And I doubt you'd rather, you'd like to be bored by me reciting it while in voice chat. I'm not streaming, I don't care. <laughs> I'm sure you'd rather see it yourself to believe it, though. Let's make for this Esperance Wheels first. Constancy, the endless who guide me, that is, should still be on duty my there. squeaky little Lothel show things, how happy she is. Uh, we're on level 92 quests. Not that far ahead. I really, really hope I don't lose my sprout before starting the raids. You gonna look at this tiny terror? Huh? Said, look at this tiny terror. What, mine? No, mine. Oh, did you, uh, share your screen? No, I sent you a picture. Oh, okay. You see, I can't see anything but the game and I'll lose the stream at the moment. <laughs> well, open up your fucking Discord. It is open, it's just behind his stream window. I had it maxed so I could watch the, uh... The fun of me trying to make my way through... I want to watch the cactus fight. That is a tiny little terror. Look at that. Look how big that hat is. It's a big hat. That is the 93 stuff. I don't know she looks adorable in it, but it's still it's a huge hat. Okay, I did it too. A warm Westerland welcome to you, my friend. Or should I say, welcome back. I had not expected you to return as our anomaly-slaying volunteer. 
I do hope I was able to make your first visit to the Gate of Remembrance a special one. Your sister here informed me of what occurred afterwards, namely Her Majesty's regrettable demise. You needn't fret. I harbor no ill will against you. I, for one, would not wish to remain endless at the cost of such terrible sacrifices to worlds beyond. So Though your four, efforts saw the city's terminals deactivated, I somehow, re I somehow remain. So uh, I'm grateful for my survival. So let me discover this right peculiar phenomenon. There they are. A so lost district of memory lies beyond this rest of sea. Okay, have a good night. Good I'm night. Be doing the same show. Have a good night. Enjoy your stream. I previously informed you that our beautiful city was comprised of four areas, but that was this was not always the case. Numerous others once thrived until one day our reality was irrevocably altered in an attempt to bridge our our worlds to others. Several districts were consumed in the process. Among the areas lost was resplendent amusement district known as Dreamboro. Swift, however, allows us to access through its streets once more. We took a cursory gander of the place for ourselves, so we were curious to know what became of it. You ever been stalked by a potato? No, can't say I have. Well, this guy is being stalked by one right now. But there's nothing amusing about it. Well, quite the opposite, actually. We were promptly chased out by a horde of angry ghosts. After decades disconnected from living memory and aether supply, we must assume that the endless who reside there are no more. The once idyllic atmosphere has been marred by a dismal shroud, and I dare say our poor dream burrow has warped itself into a place of nightmares. I'm not doing these things that I did before as Ellie, as the Ellie minion is just quite amusing at times. As it turned to us as a lost soul would, longing for a connection, the beings within have come to call it Stray Burrow Dreadwalk, or Deadwalk. Now that's reconnected with living memory, its presence is a risk to the city, so we'd like you to brave the Deadwalk and shed some light on this mystery. How so? Anyway, thanks. I regret uh -huh. the... How's it more entertaining this way? It's more entertaining doing things as a tiny little Ellie minion instead of just Ellie. You have my thanks. I Funnier. regret that I cannot give you a tour of the place myself, but know that I shall be with you in spirit. I mean, nothing will ever top being, you know, the Ellie minion in the scene where he box it out with uh, Xenos, which I would love to know how to go back and watch that again. Uh, you should be able to go into your in room. You can watch that scene where you box it out with him again. I believe so. Hell yeah. Well, time to queue in for the this dungeon. Oh, insta queue. I like that. Nice. Don't get that very often. Is this the part where I tell you the first boss is worse than that fucking cactus? <laughs> I already heard you say that to me earlier. <laughs> okay. By the way, the first boss is worse than that damn cactus. <laughs> no matter how many times I've done that boss, I still fucking hate it. How far do I have to follow you? God damn.
No. When did that start doing that? Wait, what start doing what? When Battle Voice when did Battle Voice start doing uh increase to direct hit rate for self and nearby party members? Probably something you got when you leveled up. I remember years ago doing something with about increasing potency of songs, but and thus so generally ignored it, but Hear ye, hear ye, his royal headness, Le Leonig graces us with his presence. The fuck is this thing? That head thing? They're coming. Well, except for tossing myself back into the... into the uh, edge of the screen, I didn't do bad, I don't think. This is kind of fun and interesting. Imagine trying to do it as melee. <clears throat> oh, no, you got got. <laughs> I did get got. Now you can't do shit. I did. Oh, I so did. Fuck. <laughs> I so like it. The AOE on your oh, fuck that it, fight. I hit that fight with a passion. Like, I really, really hate that. I can see why. But, you know, I also play tank and melee. And a melee where you're trying to keep up like your or ninja where you're trying to keep up the rotation while dodging all that sort of shit. Yeah, I don't really see how you'd be able to pull it off easily. Angrily.
Ah, I wasn't paying enough attention. Got you again. Well, the uh, I kept walking into the uh, the line of AOEs that stream outward. You see, however, as annoying as the first fight is, the other two bosses are, especially the third one, is really cool. I just really hate that boss. I mean, I can see why. I won't go that far. I, like I said, I found it rather, rather fun. Try it as melee and tell me how fun you think it is. I don't do shit as melee generally. Oh God! What happened? Our tank's dead. This is all <laughs> gone to shit. Wow! I don't know what to tell you about that. Not usually a problem I have when I'm thinking this thing. Not sure that Dark Knight could handle all that. How much HP does that Dark Knight even have? 167,290. Uh, I have more, haha. -ha. <laughs> Actually, I have a lot more. God damn. I've got the meat by almost. Almost 30 grand. Oh god, we're gonna try this again. If at first you don't succeed, make your healer adjust. Obviously. Well, he already died again. He died pretty much instantly. Sir, what are you, what are you doing? What, what, what was the outcome you were expecting out of that? What are you doing? I don't know, but... Watch, they're going, he's going to try and do it a third time. Because he didn't learn from the first two. And we haven't even gotten anybody able to kill anything. So you think it's the healer's fault or the tank's fault? I don't know whether it's the sage's fault or the tank's fault. Guess I'll single pull then. <laughs> and then the the that, sage is like, my Nissan and Kami Sama. I watched that 100 to zero with minimal mitigate. I have no idea what any of that meant. I don't agree with that. Uh, He's telling the tank that he. He called the tank bad. Okay. 
I kind of thought oh. that might have been what he was doing, but... He's like, I just watched your health tank because you're not using mitigations, dumbass. <laughs> Basically what the sage just said. Which is fair. And, so and from my understanding of how a sage works, you really kind of have to... You really need those mitigations to be used. So my understanding is sages heal ahead of damage. Beltron up, so when I'm pulling, I've got a regen on and some damage mitigation. Yeah. And then I'll feel it out from there on whether or not I need to do more before I burst. I'm not just going all yeehaw in there. I'm paying attention to how it's going. I can get a feel for whether or not I need to keep it. Sometimes I do, so. I mean, he could be like me and just doesn't know where any of his mitigations are. Maybe double pulled and just got fucking dropped. What'd you say? I could not hear you over the falling of that. Okay. Hot bar was stuck? What the fuck kind of complaint is... Excuse is that? Who said that? The tank? Sorry, hot bar was stuck. What was the excuse for what? My guess is for not using mitigations. Why did you become so quiet all of a sudden? Probably because I'm afraid now. I'm at it very quickly. Ah, okay. I mean, with being sick, you kind of need to spend as much time resting as you can anyway, so. Okay, what kind of nonsense am I looking at here? Which I've said twice now, so I call it quits after X quest. Okay, what kind of nonsense is this? Teacups. I see that. Oh, that's the nonsense they're up to. You watch where it goes and then don't be there. But I didn't know which one was going to explode. Gotta watch. I watched where it goes and then don't be there. I didn't realize there was two. I got lucky there. I was only keep, being able to keep track of one. Yeah, I was gonna the team. What the fuck?
Nope, I was wrong on which ones it was. I lost track of it. Guys, we're back to the tea pouring. Don't know what the red mage did die, but I'm gonna guess they ran out of reach. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh crap. I distracted myself and I do not know which ones are the ones that are going to explode. by what I just saw, you guys guessed wrong, but boss is dead anyway, so... Yep. Well, and the only one, the one who died on that fight was the Red Mage. Oh, the creepy dolls again. I don't think I've seen them using a dungeon in a while. I don't remember there being a 92 dungeon. It was 91 and then 93. I said 93. Huh? I said 93. Ah. I misheard you. These things do not need to have this much health. I'm not looking about 
Okay, well, I'll be... If you wake up and one, one chat some more, I'll be over in my Discord server and voice oh, chat. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, good night. Good night. Daylit Nightmare. <laughs> what does this do with this? I was supposed to do with that, but okay. Didn't go that fast now. Yay, I survived that one. Damn it. I am not doing well against this boss at all. What the fuck is going on with this bullshit? Oh, yeah, we've got a fucking red mage. What the fuck am I thinking?
So. Let's see here. Circle from like that. That's when he does that. Oh, so he has a ward against spirits and a ward against leather. So I need to pay more attention to what it says. See, this is what this is one of the ones that always screws me up. There's Ward Against Spirits. Okay. I do not like this boss. This boss sucks. I guess I get carried for the last half. Oh, granted, I how well, badly I did. I got carried for the entire damn thing, the entire both this entire boss fight. Oh well. Maybe I'll, I'll redeem myself if I get this in the roulette, but I doubt it. That's one of those boss fights where I don't think I'll ever do well. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I'm gonna guess they know each other. Back. Was the dead walk as haunting as we expected? Let me get this straight. You met a disturbed mascot, attended a twisted tea party, were assaulted by a sky wheel and a merry-go-round, then fought for your life in a haunted house. The endless house to be precise, and with that, my suspicions are confirmed. In the days when Dreamboro yet flourished, the endless house often held plays with volunteers from the audience. These volunteers would be cast as the story's heroes and tasked with rescuing a captive princess from Tremuri, Lord of Nightmares. That sounds awfully similar to Kyrian's experience. Precisely, thus I believe the Deadwalk's monstrous residents were given life by the lingering memories of the Endless who once called it home. As its name once implied, the district was built for those Endless who lived, loved to dream. The theme park itself likely gained a mind of its own over the years. Perhaps it, too, harbored the hope that a hero would grant its former citizens' final de desperate wish for freedom and for home. So, as I understand it, when Queen Sphin and Zero Jaw first attempted interdimensional fusion, a few areas within living memory suddenly vanished into the rift, including Dreamborough. As the endless souls began to fade, their memories and desires fused with the very essence of their home to turn the Deadwalk into what it is now. During the timing, we have to assume the district's connections is due to Her Majesty's last attempt at interdimensional fusion. But with Tramaria gone, the, those lost souls should finally be able to rest in peace. 
I am not entirely certain, but the rift did close upon their return. I can only hope your hypothesis is true and their role in the, that hollow performance has concluded. As has mine, I suspect. Long have I served as a guide, eager to bring joy to every visitor who passed through living memory's golden gates. But I see now why I remained. I was meant to perform this final act of guidance, to lead you both to those lost dreamers. I do not wish to dampen the mood, of course, so I shall take my leave, but I could not be prouder to serve my fellow citizens. I could not be happier that you were my final guests. Farewell, my friends, and thank you, truly. I pity him, but I think it's best to let him go. We should return to Solution 9. Your good days still need to go rewarded after all. I'll meet you back there as my real self this time. Okay. Ethernet. Stray Burrow Dead Walk. Where the fuck am I? This isn't where I want to go. Job well done. The dead wall can not only be taken care of, Oblivion can return to its regular surveys of living memory. We'll have to decide carefully how best to handle the former haven of the Endless, but I do know one thing for sure. It's our duty to uncover the mysteries at the heart of living memory. What was made for and what horrors kept it running. So we never repeat those mistakes. I'd like to think that's what the lost souls there would have wanted us as well. And that's what will what will drive me forward. Thank you again for your help and safe travels out there. Well, now I gotta try and find the. Trayboro dead walk. currently. Well, that's not enough really to do much of anything, but... I figure what I'm looking for is over here.
Okay. So weapon is 500. God damn it. That bow doesn't look any better than what I currently got. I don't like the armor either. Yeah. Okay, well... 